We now switch to a continuous time framework in order to consider multiple periods. And we, uh, uh, we define uh, we P as the net price uh, uh, directly to keep a bit of the mathematics samples. The other uh, things we do now is that we uh, consider a generic uh, fun functions, demand function. We are uh, uh, abandoning the assumption of linearity we made uh, uh, in the two periods model we just saw in the previous slides. And given that, we can uh, state that the utility as a function of uh, the extraction of, uh, uh, of the resource is just the integral of uh, from zero to the level of extraction of the inverse uh, demand functions in terms of the net price. If you go back a bit, back a bit, is basically when we consider the net price, all this price is uh, go down of the price of uh, of the extraction, so it become. Uh, uh, pardon, up to here, this one become uh, the area that we are considering from here till, till here in terms of net price. And so if we differentiate uh, uh, both sides with respect to the extraction of the natural resource, we end up as a conditions for the maximizations that the marginal social utility of the resource must be equal to the net price. And uh, if you see this one uh, uh, in this flowchart, uh, we see it pretty clearly that the trade-off again is to choose how, uh, where to stop uh, to uh, extract the resource. And we stop uh, at each moment in time when the benefits where we obtain from the marginal benefit that we obtain from extracting the resource, that is the marginal utility in this uh, uh, very simple uh, flowchart, is equal to the value of the resource in situ with the so with the net value net of extraction cost. When uh, we apply to this problem uh, uh, intertemporal social welfare functions uh, uh, of utilitarian forms. Uh, we define uh, uh, welfare, the integral from zero to a given time t of uh, uh, the utility at each moment in time. So here, actually, we have a double integral. We have one integral over time. And here, we said that the utility is an integral over over uh, uh, the resource extractions, but we don't need uh, to consider this one. We just consider the, uh, that here is uh, whatever uh, functions of the level of extraction at, in a, at any given point in times discounted by the social discount rate. And uh, our objective is uh, to find uh, the level of uh, extraction of the resources at any given point in time as to maximize this welfare. And as before, we have the constraints that the whole uh, initial uh, um, stock of resources must be extracted in this given uh, um, framework in this given uh, uh, time period. And so the, the variation of the stock must be equal to the negative of the extractions. And it is important to notice that differently from our previous lessons, the, in the problem that we are examining here, uh, the time at which it is optimal to uh, stop extracting the resource it is endogenous, so we have also to determine. So before, in the problem on the on the previous lesson, we had to choose uh, uh, the level of our extraction in times, and because we had a specific uh, explicit uh, production function, we had also to choose the level of uh, um, of consumption in times. Uh, but 
we had the time fixed as infinite. Yeah, we don't have this one as a count called variable. We have left only with, with the resource, but uh, we have uh, conversely to determine which is exactly this amount of uh, uh, time that maximizes the welfare. 